Hi everybody, Kat here from Liberty 3D. I just want to let everybody who uses Turbulence FD for Lightwave to know that there is now a update that has come out just today. This is Martin Luther King Day, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day on 2015, uh, 20, or sorry, um, January 15th, 2018. And I'm obviously running Lightwave 2018.0.1. This is the new patch that also came out recently. Um, Yash has been busy, obviously, with uh, some uh, development in TFT2 land. Hopefully we'll see something there. But he's been able to provide us with an update for Lightwave 2018.0.1 um, after some people were reporting some other uh, little issues. But let's go and take a look at this. Okay, now first thing, um, when you go and get your update, make sure you go and get it from the install tab. Don't go and download the try. This won't work. If you go and download the try, you're going to have a problem with this because these are specifically built for trial versions and they will not work and they will constantly push you back over to this website and say please download the actual install and it's going to cause you all kinds of problems if you don't actually go and get this version so make sure you're downloading it from here and you can see this is version 1.0 revision 1433 and it was release date today okay so once you've got that installed in your system it goes in the same place that you've always had for your installs um, if you've got the Machine open, you're ready to go. I was just planting this um, into my also 2015 install. Let's go and uh, make sure that we are talking about the same thing here. Um, it goes into your Turbulence FD folder above the support folder. Don't put it into the support folder because you'll have problems there. Um, you need to load it from here. Otherwise, you'll get load errors. And it tries to uh, scan some of the files that are in the um, uh, stack here. So it's, uh, these files are not friendly to exist under the support folder. Don't put them in there. Okay. Now then, um, once you've got all that sorted out, you should have no problems launching it. And in this case, you just go to enter license or, you know, it's licensed to me, good stuff. And make sure that you are physically looking at build 1433. Okay. So, um, just as an example, I'm going to fire up one of the scenes from my recent conventional weapons pack. And I've actually got this simmed out to 55 frames, so I'm just going to go to 55 frames here. And I'm going to give you a warning here. All right. Um, this version of TFD introduces something that I've been looking for for a long time, and it makes sense now that um, VPR is the same renderer that we would use in uh, production renders. It's the production render, is the VPR render, the production render, and the VPR render. It's the same output. It's always going to look the same. As long as you've got the proper resolution and everything else set, it's going to give you exactly the same results. Um, what you see is what you get is basically what it comes down to. Now, that didn't really work for us when we were working with TFD in the past because um, TFD was unable to tell Lightwave VPR to do something in advance of it actually displaying this volumetric effect. And what that was was specifically under the rendering tab, under the smoke shader, it wouldn't know what to do with the voxelization smooth or fast and the multiple scattering or the accurate setting once enabled. There was no way for it to actually go and engage the multi-scattering container step. So in this case, what we do get, I'm just going to go voxelize fast. I'm going to set this to something really low because um, it actually takes a little bit of while to kick in. I'm going to go back down to say like 10, 11, 12 frames. Uh, into the animation and I'm just going to en enable VPR and you'll see that the multi-scattering function actually works now inside of VPR. And this is very cool but it's also slightly scary because you can very easily get yourself into trouble with this. Um, what I mean by it is that if you go over the mapping and you start to edit this mapping while this is open good luck recovering your copy of Lightwave. It just simply will just crash or you'll have to kill it or you'll just have to wait until it's finished with any adjustment that you make here. If I go and touch this and move it, it will cause VPR to do a constant refresh and you get that volume container refresh. If you're trying to get in there and do a modification to this, you got to be able, you got to disable the um, uh, VPR first, adjust your envelope and then go back in and re-engage VPR or else you're going to have a really bad time. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this uh, and my copy of Lightwave will probably just, just bite it. So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to just eliminate any type of anti-aliasing so I can try to get out of this quicker than uh, what I was doing earlier when I tested this. And we're going to go over to the renderer tab. We're going to go to GI options. We're going to get rid of GI. All right. No kidding. There's literally a parade outside my door. All right. So now that we've got that sorted, uh, let's go and try this. Okay. I'm just going to tap it once. 
and boom, you're going to have problems. Okay, so this is a crash. Uh, I'm going to have to report this to and uh, obviously uh, the Lightwave group. But um, in my other previous test, it just like ran into the floor. So do not attempt to edit the curves with VPR open, uh, or else you're going to have a real bad time. Now then, um, a couple of other things. Uh, because the uh, system has changed, um, in terms of the volumetric renderer, uh, any scene that you've done from previous is going to load in in a certain way. And uh, we'll just demonstrate this a second. I've got to get Lightweight to come back up. Okay, but well, go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go and load that scene again. All right, I'm not going to need a save copy of that. doesn't matter because I'm not going to save it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we're going to just go back to here. Now, uh, you're going to notice under the render properties, um, what I have here, this is volumetrics. Um, use legacy volumetrics, all right? And under the scene tab, we're going to uh, volumetrics and fog options. Well, that's the image processing. Let's go to legacy volumetrics. This is where the shader tab is, okay? So it is still classified as a legacy volumetric effect. Keep this in mind, all right? Because if you turn off use legacy volumetrics, you should probably get nothing in here. See? But if you turn it on, oh, boom, there you go. So Yasha still will have to update the software to make use of Lightwave's new volumetric system. But the legacy volumetrics technology that's built into Lightwave 2018.0.1 is going to still support it. Now, this unfortunately means you can't start mixing stuff from uh, Lightweight's volumetric system, um, the new one, with the old stuff, but you can mix stuff in with uh, the old system. So you can have hypervoxels and the fluid shader um, and other types of volumetric effects in there if you wanted to. Uh, although how well they'll render together is a completely different story. At least you've got access to them and there really shouldn't be much of a problem. Anyway, I'm going to be doing another uh, set of uh, TFD videos obviously once um, uh, we get a little bit further along in the development stage here and obviously I have some other videos that have um, some priority there but expect to see the next conventional weapons pack volume 2 to come out and I'll hopefully be able to update the first conventional weapons pack to late with 2018 and I'll be updating that so anybody who's purchased that will get a obvious update and make sure that if you had one of those magical coupons that you got in the last TFD group buy-in that you do something with it very quickly um, because you're just about a few months away now from having the expiry. Um, I think it was in uh, April or May we did that buy-in, so um, you've got a couple months still, but you might want to check out any of the titles that uh, uh, I have produced since then or anything you haven't picked up because that uh, coupon will eventually expire. That coupon got you 46% off. That's uh, how many wonderful people bought into that uh, group buy-in. And if you want to do a group buy-in uh, again, um, th those of you who missed the first one and the second one last spring, let me know. I'm considering doing another one here, but I want to uh, make sure that that's good with Yasha before I jump in and uh, do this because I know that he's extremely busy. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys very shortly.